I have to be honest, I've never read any of the Jules Verne uh, novels, but the developer of this game called 80 Days, which is based on the novel Jules Verne, reached out to me and they sent me a code and I said, why the hell not? Let's check it out. This is not an ad, uh, but I did not pay for this game. All I know is it has something to do with that novel that I never read. So let's check it out. Let's check it out together. Uh, it looks like we're going to begin in London. I, I did look at, like, I don't know. They showed, like, people racing across the uh, across the world. So I found that to be pretty interesting. Monsieur Filet Fog. Okay, I'm sorry I did that. French people, feel free to hate me. Uh, return home early from the Reform Club and a new fangled steam carriage besides. I helped him down. And the iron and the iron lunged steam driven horses clattered away. Passaporto, he said. We are going around the world. Around the world, monsieur? Very good, monsieur. I asked, utterly astonished. We shall circumnavigate the globe within eighty days. He was quite calm as he proposed his wild scheme. We leave for Paris on 8.25 in an hour. Uh, oh, okay, so... But I have not prepared. I, re I said wretchedly, uh, quickly trying to organize a list of necessary items in my mind. Then do it now. Pack an altimeter and my evening jacket. There is not a moment to waste. You passportar now have... Okay. Um, I don't know how to say that dude's name, but that's weird. My character is now steadfast. All right. We're all ready. Okay, we got a pack. So what do I need? I need, uh, I'm going to need a, a timetable. Sure. Put that in. Oh, I have um, Diablo style uh, inventory here that I have to worry about. Inscribed with the markings recording a symphony. So I'm not going to bring that because that's... Uh, oh, yes, we want to have the altimeter. Uh, we're probably going to get bored, so I'm going to say uh, playing cards. And that means I cannot bring an evening jacket or a wax cylinder. Okay, that's all we get, man. Where's my... Can I go? I don't think I can fit this anywhere. Yeah, I can't. Do I hit start to go? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. Wait, what the hell is happening here? Oh, it's showing me new routes. So I get to pick which direction or which way that I want to go around the world in 80 days. All right, let's depart. We're on our way to Paris. We're going to arrive tomorrow. Departing now. Go! 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 All right, we're, we're taking a... Oh, man, look at that steam-powered horse. Literally. That's cool. This kind of makes me want to watch the... Or read the, the, the book now. The mechanical horse... The mechanical horses raced past Piccadilly Circus and the Pall Mall faster than a team of thoroughbreds. Even so, the whistle of the 825 was blowing up... Was blowing as we pulled up to the Charing Cross Station. We have no tickets, I exclaimed. We raced along the concourse and threw ourselves aboard. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for tickets. Uh, as the second whistle shrieked its warning, we barely had time to take our seats before the guard rapped smartly on the compartment door. He held out a hand. Tickets, please. Um... Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, alas, monsieur, we were in a great hurry. I explained, giving him a beseeching look. We did not have time to buy tickets. You may purchase them from me, the guard was saying. Though it is more expensive, I'm afraid. Eighty-five pounds, please. I argued with him. Or rather, I began to. But Monsieur Fogg interrupted. Passaporto, you will pay the sum at once, he put in coldly, and remunerate this man for his patience. Uh, I gave the man a hundred and added a word or two of advice about allowing a little leniency to gentlemen in their hours of need. The guard gave me our tickets and slid the compartment door shut behind them with a pneumatic hiss. Your funds have gone down by a fair amount. I only have 3,900 pounds left. Converse. Oh, look at these mustaches. 
Oh, I see. There I am being uh, Frenchist again. I don't know. Sorry, French people. I am at your surface, Monsieur Fogg. Passer Proto? Uh, well, let's say journey. But tell me, Monsieur, what is the purpose of our journey? I made a hefty wager, and I do not intend to lose. The journey will be most expensive, Monsieur. Indeed, but we can earn a little from buying and selling our possessions as we travel. Very good. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit. London smog gave way to rolling hills and the pastures of the Kentish countryside, still untouched by the hand of technological advancement. Monsieur Fogg read his newspaper while I repacked our bags. Thrown together in haste and confusion, as afternoon turned inexor inexorably into evening, I discovered that my master was one of those gentlemen who had broke their silence rarely, if at all. A guard rapped on our door. Here comes another hundred bucks, probably. We are about to submerge, he warned. Takes some people a bit funny, so watch out. What do you mean submerge? I cried. This is the London to Paris Amphitheater Express, he explained. As though it, to a particularly dim-witted child. The submersible train? Talk of all the London papers? Ah, this is the mare train, I exclaimed. He made a face. Bloody journalists and their silly names, he muttered. Every inch of her has been examined and stamped with the artificer's seal. This is the world's only bathyscaped locomotive. I could not help but a shiver as the fins above the, amph the amphitrite's wheels. That's a weird word. I'm going to have to look that one up. Uh, or it's, is it a name? I think it's a name. As the fins above the amphitrite's wheels extended with a hydraulic hiss, night fell and we plunged past the end of the track into the freezing water of the English Channel. Now why is it still clouds, huh? I still got clouds here. The amphitrite... Oh, uh, yeah, I said amphitheater earlier. I meant to say amphitrite. Uh, the amphitrite plowed through the water overnight and splashed up onto the wider gauge French tracks at Calais... At Calais, Calais? I don't know how to say that. As dawn broke. Uh, I began to consider what we might require for our journey. Loose clothing for hot weather and furs for cold. Driving clothes for ward and... Uh, for roads and weatherproof gear for boats. Uh, well, we would have to purchase the necessary items. Of the cities we passed through, oh, in the markets of the cities we passed through, I grew a little melancholy at the thought. No doubt, whatever we required, I would have to carry. We arrived at the Paris Gare du Nord just after one o'clock. Automation porters lifted our luggage and then the persons onto the platform with the long, delicately filigreed iron arms. Paris, city of my heart. I was home, but not to stay. I'm now dependable. You guys didn't know that about me, but now you do. All right. So we get to go to the market or the bank or explore, which is going to add four hours. We're going to go to the market. What can we buy at the market? We can... Uh, we can sell... Oof, we can't, really can't buy anything. I can buy some perfumed oils, but I guess I don't need any. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Did you see that? Uh, I can't get uh, buy an extra suitcase. It won't let me buy an extra suitcase. We can go to the bank? Sure. Let's go... Wait. Yeah, let's go to the bank. I just added two hours. We must visit the bank, Monsieur Fogg declared. A robbery, Monsieur? Certainly not, he replied firmly. But do you suppose I put my entire fortune into a carpet bag under your supervision? Of course, I regarded. As the bank, I regarded the manager of the bank as we entered a small man who greeted us with greedy enthusiasm. You wish to withdraw funds, we were told? I warn you, it may take some time. Um, we cannot afford even a single day, I declared. We swept out of the bank. Thankfully, our situation is not desperate, my master declared. Onwards. All right, so it looks like we can get money out, but it, co it costs us time. And we only have 80 days to go around the world. 
Let's explore. We had a few hours to spare. I asked Monsieur Fogg if I might enjoy the, my city before he had to leave. Indeed, and you should learn anything of note, be sure to relay it. I nodded and headed into town. The talk on the streets was one was of only one thing, an enormous, elegant, oval stadium constructed upon the green fields of Champ de Mar and the, containing the technological marvels, art, amusement parks, and milling crowds of the World's Fair in 1872. Um, but I was certain Monsieur Fogg did not intend for me to visit fairs. So I enjoyed a brief cup of coffee and then returned to my master, armed with some options for the next leg of the journey. Oh, so you gotta, you gotta worry about his, uh, uh, like your relationship with your boss. Uh, so we can go, whoa, oh, 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 hold on. How do I do this? Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? My clock is still ticking up up on top, so I gotta make decisions fast. All right, I think that we wanna go to either Amsterdam, let, let's go to Nice. Oh, let's negotiate. All right, Monsieur Fogg seems confident that we can secure an early departure on the Pyrenees Express. 320 or tomorrow. That's a lot of money for tomorrow. I think we do in two days. Oh, look at that. You can uh, you can use the L and the R button to go back and forth. Now what? I don't know what to do. Plan. I did. I planned a trip to, uh, I, I planned a trip to Nice tomorrow at 10 AM. So now what do I do? I go back. Oh, okay. So that's tomorrow. So we go hotel. We'll pass the night here. X. We took a hotel for the night. We will be comfortable here. Monsieur Fogg remarked, but traveling, o traveling overnight will often be more efficient. So we must board, okay. So we must board the longest journeys available. Oh yeah, I should have thought of that. Perhaps the short answer, he replied the short answer indicating, I think that one day journeys might often be more flexible in their timing and would allow for more connections. Still, the surrounds of the Hotel Ritz were most enjoyable. Depart. Um, wait, 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 wait. No, go back, you doof. There we go. Well, let's embark. All right. Well, you know, I think that kind of gives us an idea of what this game is like. It feels more like I'm reading a book than really playing a game, like a choose-your-own-adventure, which I find to be very, very interesting. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I used to play choose-your-own-adventure books all the time. Uh, in fact, I remember once when I was in, like, third grade... I did a, I had to do a book report twice in one year. And the first, like it, we had to do a book report every month. And the first month I did it on a choose your own adventure book. And then I tried, I did not get away with this. I tried to do the same book, but I, I read different things. Uh, my teacher wasn't buying it. Uh, but this, that's what this makes me think of. It makes me think of a choose your own adventure book. And overall, I think it's pretty cool. I like the art. Uh, I do wish that, you know, when the, the when we had the submersible train, it went underwater instead of having the clouds there. But overall, I think it's kind of cool. I'm just looking up right now how much it costs on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so it's coming up now. It's twelve nine. It's $13. I don't know that I would pay $13 for what to me seems like a, a, uh, a choose your own adventure book. But... You know what? Maybe, you know what? I changed my mind because that's about the price that you would pay for uh, for a book. And I, I just, I feel like this is really cool. It's so unique and I've not seen anything else like it on the Switch. So anyway, 
that's my first look at 80 days on the Nintendo Switch. If you didn't know, I've got a podcast all about Nintendo, and you can find that uh, wherever podcasts are downloaded. It's called Nintendo Switchcraft. You can also, uh, if you're watching this here on, obviously you're watching this on YouTube. I don't know why I said if. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, click on that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you are notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, au revoir.